Home Assistant allows us to control and automate smart devices and services in and around our home, as long as we are on the same network as the Home Assistant server. But what if we are on a night out with friends? Or what if we are on vacation? How can we access our Home Assistant server if we need to? An easy way to do this is to subscribe to Home Assistant Cloud with Nabu Casa. In addition to gaining access to your Home Assistant server, it also allows you to connect with cloud-only services like Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. But it is a paid service, and it will cost you a bit more than $6 a month at the time of recording. Although, considering what you're getting, this is still a pretty good deal. It's just not free. There are different ways to access Home Assistant for free, such as port forwarding, using a VPN, or using a DDNS service. And another way to do this for free is through using Cloudflare tunnels. It is 100% free and is more secure compared to other methods we can use. So today I will be installing Cloudflare on my Home Assistant server. What is Cloudflare? Cloudflare is basically a network of servers that act as a security guard between your website and the rest of the world on the internet. Uh, three things that it does. Uh, number one, it shields your website from common attacks and can offer web application firewalls and content delivery network to further protect your website. Number two, it speeds up your website by maintaining a cache of static content like images and script that your website uses. Number three, Cloudflare also provides domain name registration, traffic encryption, email filtering, and anti-spam protection. This is just an overview of what Cloudflare offers. There's a lot more to Cloudflare than just the core services of security and performance. To use Cloudflare tunnels, we will need a few things. We need a domain name, which we can register using Namecheap or Freenom or any other website. We also need to create an account on Cloudflare, although it's free. And we need to install the Cloudflare add-on in our Home Assistant server. A site to go to for free domain name registration is freenom.com. But on the Freenom website, it seems they are currently experiencing technical issues registering new domain names. Plus, free domain registrations on Freenom with the following TLDs cannot be used with the integration due to a limitation in the Cloudflare API. We can possibly still use these TLDs for some other purpose, assuming the technical difficulties are resolved for Freenom. We will need to go to the other sites to register our domain. Other sites you may want to check out for domain registration are Namecheap, Hostinger, and Cloudflare. These sites do not offer free registration, but they definitely are affordable. I must say, the process, if you choose Cloudflare, would be more straightforward since we would also be using their domain name servers, kind of like a one-stop shop. Whichever you choose, you would be following the similar steps to go get your domain name registered and for Cloudflare tunnels to work. I already have a domain name that I pre-registered, so I'm going to skip the domain name registration part. Although I will still go over the steps that we need to go through. Once you have a domain name registered, we can head over to Cloudflare. On Cloudflare, go to the websites, then enter the domain name we just created, then select Get Started for free. Click Continue. Cloudflare will then do a quick scan of any existing DNS records for the domain that we used. Click Continue, then Confirm to add records later. On the Name Server section, Cloudflare will give you two name servers that we will need to update on the account where we registered the domain. Copy the name servers that Cloudflare has provided, then go back to where you registered the domain. Then on the Domain Management page, we need to update the first two name servers to what Cloudflare has provided. Select Name Servers, then edit Name Server 1 and Name Server 2 with the name servers from Cloudflare. Then hit Change Name Servers to save the changes you made. Complete the Quick Start Guide. Click Get Started. I turned on Always Use HTTPS and then I saved it. For the next one, I just click Save and then Finish. Cloudflare will then check for the name servers. This can take up to 24 hours and you will receive an email from Cloudflare to inform you of your domain status. So I'll be right back. 
Now that this is completed, we can go back to our Home Assistant server to install Cloudflare. Go to Settings, then Add-ons. Click on Add-on Store. Hit the three dots on the top right corner, then select Repositories. On a separate tab, search for Cloudflare Add-on Home Assistant. We want the Brenner Tobias Add-on Cloudflare GitHub page. Scroll down to the Installation section, then copy the GitHub repository address. Then go back to your Home Assistant, then paste the Cloudflare repository address. Hit Save, then back on the Add-on Store. Search for the Cloudflare add-on we just saved, then hit the Install button. On the Configuration tab, we need to update the external Home Assistant hostname with the domain name we created earlier. Then click Save. Now we can start the add-on. This is also a good time to select Start on Boot and Watchdog to start the add-on if it crashes so that the tunnel is always up and running even after Home Assistant crashes. Once the add-on has started, we can head on over to Logs and follow the link provided so we can authorize the tunnel. Select the tunnel on Cloudflare, then click Authorize. Now we can go back to our Home Assistant and hit Refresh on the Logs. The Logs will tell us if we have successfully set up our tunnel. Here, near at the bottom, it says it finished setting up the Cloudflare tunnel. Go to our web browser and try to access our Home Assistant using the domain name we created. Here we see the tunnel is working, but we have a 400 bad request error. We have to add a trusted proxy to our Home Assistant. All this info would be on the Documentation tab under Home Assistant Configuration. We would need to install the Studio Code server to update the configuration file. On your Home Assistant, go to Settings, then Add-ons, then Add-on Store. Search for the Studio Code server, then click Install as you would with any other add-on. I've already installed Studio Code server earlier, but it wasn't showing as installed since I had not restarted Home Assistant. I'll restart it now. After I restart it, It'll then show as installed. After it reboots, I'll go back to add-ons and start the add-on. Now I can go back to installing Cloudflare. Go back to the Cloudflare add-on and copy the code under Documentation, Home Assistant, Configuration. Select Studio Code Server on the sidebar and select the Configuration YAML file. Then paste the code into the YAML file and restart Home Assistant once again. Since we updated the configuration file, restarting Home Assistant is actually needed. Once it reboots, we'll check the logs and try again to access Home Assistant via the domain. Now here we can see we have successfully accessed and logged into our Home Assistant without having to open any port on our router. And just to be sure, I will also try to access Home Assistant using my mobile phone using my data plan. Now that everything is working, I can add the Home Assistant to Uptime Kuma to help me monitor the service. Making sure that Home Assistant is always up and running is very important as Home Assistant provides services that are used every day by multiple users. On the next video, I will be adding more security to Home Assistant as well as other servers that I have running on my home lab. I hope you liked the video and thank you for watching.